This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Welcome to Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, the Sultan of Scam, the tyrant of trickery, the head honcho of hustling, Brian Brushwood. And today, we're going to learn an advanced version of a game you've already learned. You may remember we learned how to play Nim, a game that's simultaneously totally fair and totally unbeatable. Now today, we're going to learn a simpler version of the game that seems more fair to the sucker, but in fact will net you more free drinks than you ever would have dreamed possible. Check it out. Molly, yes. what a pleasure to have you on the Thank show. You. I am very excited. This is going to be the first time I'm scamming somebody so important. I'm nervous. I'm Except nervous. for maybe Tom Merritt. That's all right. Uh, okay, we're going to play a little game. Okay. I got to warn you, I'm very good at this game. But by the time we're done, you will be as good as I am. Okay. Okay, now here's the game. All right. The game is we got three piles here. You can take as many coins as you want from any one pile per turn. Okay. Whoever, whoever takes the last coin loses. That's it. So I don't want to get stuck with the last one. That's right. Okay. Okay. So you want to go first or you want me to go first? I think I want to go first. Indeed. Well, by all means, take your turn. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I see. That's right. That just happened. That's right. That means I did it right. It, sure. It means anything you want it There's to mean. something. Okay. Interesting. What do we got? What do we got here? Um... This is well thought out on my part, by which I mean not at all. All right, okay, there you go, I'm good now. You didn't expect that, did you? No. That's right. I sort of forgot about the more than one at a time. That's right. All right. That'd be a silly game if all we did was take turns going one at a time. No way. It would take a while. All right, that's cool. What's funny is the banter ends and the, <laughs> the, the desire to win takes over. <laughs> No, oh, uh, it's two uh, piles. I remember that. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, damn it. I love, she got, she got the eye of the tiger. The cold fire came over <laughs> here. All of a sudden, it's about and winning and losing. Yeah. And there you go. You want to play again? Yeah. You got, you got an idea for the rules now, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I think I still want to go first. Okay, by all means, go first. This is like a Sudoku thing. Like, I know there's a thing. <laughs> But I don't know the thing. Well, you'll learn the thing before it's all over. The thing is, you'll learn the thing. Oh, interesting. You know what? Power play. Woo! That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the thing. I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit. You're doing a you're doing a, a deep blue moment here, uh -huh. permeate uh -huh. permutating all the calculations. Is that a verb? Can can one permutate? He, she, or it permutates. Oh, the last one. <laughs> We'll do it one more time. I'm sure oh, no, right, you'll get it right, down. Right. You'll get it down. That's because now you know what to look for. You want to go first or you want me to go first? I want you to go first. Really? Mm -hmm. well, no. I'm going to do a move somebody taught right. me a long time ago. <laughs> a wise master of the game by the so name I was of Molly Wood. Right the first time. Or apparently, though, you can just do whatever you want and it turns out that you win. It's flexible. That's the neat thing about this game is there's a lot of different paths to good success. Times. Yeah, good times. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did not just do that. That's what you did. There we go. <gasps> <gasps> we start playing for money next. We're playing no. with money right now, but now we can play for money. This one's just making me mad. Like, I know I don't want to get stuck with that one, because that's, like, too easy. <laughs> You've Damn come it. to learn that the four is the kiss of death. <laughs> the four is horrible. Are you ready to get on the inside? Yes. All right, this is an advanced version of a game called Nim. And uh, we've talked about Nim before. We actually taught a super simple version of how to play and cheat at Nim before. But what I like about this version, version it's a little bit tougher to learn how to win at it but it seems so much more fair. If you want to learn some of the older versions of Nim, the other one we taught, then just check out the previous episode. Here's how you win at this game. Okay. No matter what they do, there are five whole positions, five configurations that if you can create those, you will always win. Does that make sense? Like the so, four. Yeah, exactly. Like you noticed that by the time that we got to the end, two and two, you know that you're pretty much screwed by that point, right? Yeah. So I've written down a cheat sheet for you 
of the five different configurations. Now, they're not that hard to memorize, but we're gonna let you use the cheat sheet for okay. learning here. Okay. Uh, first of all, just remember, this game seems to be all about guns, because the starting configuration is three, five, and seven. So just remember a 357 Magnum, right? Obviously. Uh, of course, why That's not, what right? what I thought, yeah. Okay, the first configuration is pretty easy to remember, one, two, and three. It doesn't matter which pile has what. It could be one here, two here, three here, or it could be one, three, and two. Right. It could be uh, uh, two, three, and one. As long as you get a one, a two, and a three, you're gonna win. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Next configuration, two, four, and six. That's also pretty easy to remember. One, two, three, two, four, six. A one, one, one. The only one that's kind of funny is the one, four, five. So just remember, just remember 45. Remember it's all about guns, right? So just remember 45. I was gonna go with power book. Well, my first power book, 145B. Really? Mnemonic devices are everywhere. You Mac weirdos. Yeah. You guys are freaking me out. I don't have it anymore. Mm. Uh, and then the last configuration is uh, two even piles. Right. Okay. Which I learned over and over. Exactly. Over and over and over again, you figured out once you saw two even piles, you pretty much knew, ah, crap, I'm host, right? So the only way for you to lose is if you're playing somebody who knows all these configurations, right. or an idiot savant, right? And you let them go first, and they take <laughs> just one. That's the only way you can lose. Okay. Okay, so. So when I let you go first, I was screwed no matter what. Correct. The moment you let me go first, you were host. Because, because the first move I did, I, I took either one, or uh, I took one from whatever. Right. So, so it, it doesn't matter. Uh, so in this case, let's say, let's say you're going first, you start by taking one. So take one from any of the piles. Okay. There you so go. I was off to the so right now to it's start. my turn. Yeah, and actually it made me a little bit nervous. You start off by taking one, I'm like, oh, she's all, not a genius. <laughs> she's like, I did the research, you're going down, Brushwood. <laughs> Alright, so you've taken your first move, and yep. I'm Mr. Don't know, really know how to play, so I just grab a random amount here. Okay, so what do we got? We've got uh, now what I found, and remember, order doesn't matter. Right. What I found is that is saying in my mind, saying to myself, what the numbers are you'll discover that two of the numbers are gonna match up to one of these configurations, mm -hmm. and it'll be obvious which of these you should go for. So in this case, uh, say out loud how many in each pile, and it'll be okay. obvious what you should do. Well, so now I have two, four, five. Correct. Oh, so what should you okay. go for? There you go, so now you've hit one of the pole positions. You hit right. one, four, five, you're already home free. So no matter what I do, let's say the next thing I do is that. Right. So again, say out loud what I'm you got. Like one, three, four, which means I want one, two, three. That's right, now you've got one, two, three. You've got another pole position, you're almost home free. So let's say I do something kooky and I, I grab all these. Now once once you get to the end game, right. you, you're gonna have to start thinking it through. Okay, right. you're not gonna necessarily go by what's written on here. But so, so I leave you with this, what are you gonna do? Nah, I wouldn't do that. No? Because look oh, what I do, I take one and then I piles. leave it. What, right, what, what? Not two even piles that are the same number. No, 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 no. You're right. You want two even piles would work, except for at the end game, because now you're within oh, striking distance. Right. I don't know. You just take both of those, those. Yeah. and stick me with that. I knew that. I knew right? that. Right? Your numbers confused me. I know. My wizardry. And all you got to do is memorize my these. Paper. And you are. Always, no, but those are easy to remember. I I bet, in fact, I bet you can already. Okay, I bet you can already recite them. Let's try them. Without. Here. Well, let me make sure you remember. What are they? One, two, three. Probably see right through. Yes. I didn't think of that. Yeah. No. Two, four, six. Yes. One, one, one. Yes. One, four, five. Yes. And two even pops. See, look how easy it is to remember. I told Without you it's all about the even power a crib book. sheets. <laughs> the crib <laughs> the power book. Yeah, all you Mackies out there. All right, here we go. Okay. Now for real, the grand championship tournaments. Wood versus brushwood. Which wood shall remain? Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? I would like to go first. Uh, okay, go. <laughs> That's so nice of you to ask. You're such a faker. No. <laughs> ah, you win yourself a beer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Molly Wood, champion of Advanced Nim. That was awesome, you did great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing this all the time for money. <laughs> oh, look out, San Francisco. 
So yes, you will have to do some memorization to pull off the advanced version of NIM, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. The game seems so much more fair that the sucker won't have any idea what's going on until it's too late and you've won yourself a free beer. I want to thank the magician Opie Houston for teaching me this version of Advanced NIM, and I'd also like to announce this week the beginning of a new long-running contest, an opportunity for you to screw over your buddies and kick some cash over to your favorite show, Scam School, at the same time. We're going to be looking for the best domain smack out there. What's a domain smack? Well, in short, domains are so ridiculously cheap through our sponsor, GoDaddy.com, that you can register an insulting, demeaning domain and put it to your friend's website just for the hell of it for less than the amount of money that's in your couch cushions right now. Take one of your friends who's a little bit proud of his sexual prowess, register the domain LoserVirgin.com and put it to his MySpace. Don't like this show? Register the domain WorstShowOnTheInternet.com and point it to Scam School. Or if you're rather proud of your own performance, Register the domain, I don't know, damnimgoodlooking.com and put it to your page. Whatever it is, be creative, be outrageous, be witty. Just make sure to send us the links at brian at revision3.com. We'll collect the winners and create a hall of fame at domainsmack.com. Plus, we've got the perfect code to register your domain smack. Enter code SCAM3 when you check out, and the domain only costs $7.49, and they'll point it wherever you want for free. And make sure to use the promo code for Scam School when you check out, because otherwise we don't see a damn cent. And that means no more scams for you selfish bastards. Join us on the forums at revision3.com slash scam school. Any question about this scam or if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. We want to give special thanks to Molly Wood from Buzz Out Loud for joining us today. And next week, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to give you GPS coordinates so you can finally, at long last, find Waldo. Now if I could just figure out those damned magic eye posters, then we'll be set. Crying out loud.